All right, guys, welcome back to Roleplay. We are marching towards the ogre camp, or at least Jeff is. Yeah, what are the rest of you guys doing? Well, after I the little am spat. Also oh, go ahead. Walking towards the ogre camp. After the little spat with Abigail, <laughs> I will walk with hand in hand as we skip to the ogre cave thing. Yep. Okay. Um, I I um I tell him compliments about his body odor and his. Are these boots boot. sparkling now that they've been cleaned? Yeah, perhaps? I'm telling you how nice his boots look today. I wouldn't say that they're sparkling. I would say that they're clean, inside and out for the first time in a him, long time. Oh How's my, my hair God, look, Neil? It's good. You got recently shaved down the sides again, so you have the big mohawk, and yeah. they they gelled it with some egg whites and it's sticking up pretty good. Perfect. Um, I just want to look good. The recently rebraided is... beard is looking good as well. Awesome. All right, cool. So I tell added some little beads to the bottom of it. It looks real nice. I tell her to go, oh my god, your boots look like they're shiny. It's beautiful in the sunshine. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All this happens as we're walking toward the cave, yeah. so we're there now. Right. <laughs> okay, so you guys uh, get there, and as you approach, you hear some people talking in ogre on the other side of the wall. Do I understand it? Yeah, but Vincent's the first one there. Ah. What do I see? You hear ogres talking in ogre. Oh. So there's a wall, and this door is up, right? Yeah, there's the wall um, with the gate in it, uh, but the gate is closed, and you hear voices on the other side. I'm going to knock on the door with my sword and say yoo -hoo. Okay, so by then, uh, Tuttle, Tuttlegub gets closer. And you can hear them saying things like, you know, I'm pretty hungry, dude. Yeah. Do you think we should go butcher deer? Well, I think we could, but I don't think Thrak would like it. Ver Not Thrak. Um, I don't think uh, Th Th Theon would like it very much. They're hungry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of whisper that to the party, and I believe their leader is Theon. Rion. Breon. B R E O N. With a B. <laughs> Rianba. Something like that. I'm not good with names. I can read though, and I give Abigail a look that says, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> so do, do you want to just. Do you so want to knock? knock on the door now. So you knock on the door. Um, immediately, Tuttlegub, Tuttle, Tuttlegub, you hear them say, what the fuck is that? And one of them walks over to, uh, and like goes up on his. I guess you guys couldn't see what he's doing but you hear some steps footsteps coming towards the wall and then you see a head peek over the wall like an ogre head looking down at you um, is there enough of the head in my judgment to throw a spear at it <laughs> absolutely you would get a penalty to hit though i mean you'd get a bonus for surprise and a penalty to hit is the gate thick enough to where you can stick a sword through it yeah it's it, no there's no way you can stick your sword okay through okay it. continue so, on you want to throw oh. your spear yeah, right his face. Okay, so he gets, like, what's the, hold on, oh, I hope the site still isn't crashed. Oh, good. It is still crashed. Don't go there, guys. Um, what is the cover, cover, cover? He is 90% cover, so you get, like, a, so I think your total spear attack is going to because you get minus 10 for the amount of cover but then you get plus 2 for surprise and your spear normally has plus 3 so 3, 4, 5, you minus 5 so d20 minus 5 is your total roll yeah negative 1 <laughs> <laughs> We've never had a negative roll before. No, it's fine. It doesn't matter as long as it's not a natural one. So you throw your spear and it just like sails <laughs> over the ogre. Yeah. And okay. then he he yells. Tuttlegub, you know, he yells, Attack! Monsters! Monsters? Yeah. <laughs> um, and you hear... Uh, he, he immediately goes for the gate. So let's roll for initiative. Someone roll for your team. Well, Jeff, you just rolled a negative one, so I can say okay. continue forward. Come on it. He rolls that for initiative. We're set. D10. Low roll. Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys go first. All right, you guys go ahead. So the door cracks open. What's there? Like, how many? Uh, no, they haven't opened the door yet. 
Oh. Hmm. So our so initiative is faster. We still just see this guy's head. Am I behind? No, he dropped his head below. <clears throat> Am I behind the rest of the party? Uh, you're with Abigail, and you guys are behind Vincent and Bregor. So I'm gonna say an orc. You uh, guys are like off over here somewhere. I say, and I'm gonna say an orc. Wait, wait, wait! I've captured humans and brought them to Briob, the leader. Can you open the door? You mean an ogre? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, an ogre. Um, one of them yells, "Then why did he throw a spear at me?" I'm dumb. I forgot to unarm him. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what, so you guys just hear him yelling an ogre. You have no idea what he's saying. Mm -hmm. What are you? Continue with your actions. Well, I can't see anything. I kind of take a few steps back and get in a, a position where I can shoot my bow. Same. Okay. You got you guys back up. Get ready to take your bow shots. Vincent, what do you do? I'm just hanging out beneath the door with my sword drawn. Okay, so you guys are just waiting for them to walk out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you hear from inside, back in Ogre, how do I know we can trust you? What? I don't recognize you. What should I do to prove, or what, what do I need to do to earn your trust? You hear someone scratch its head. Uh... Look, just open the door, man. You want? Do you want your leader to be pissed? And instead of leader, I say the name because I forgot it. You can't. You can't just say you forgot the name. You can say it. You Bria, Thea, what? Your leader. You know, just let him open the fucking door. I don't trust you. Ah, all right. Well, they open the door and come out. <laughs> um, anyway, okay. you guys were ready to so get your tax off. Okay. How many is there? We should have said our leader instead of your leader. Ah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I'm still um, new otherwise, the they might thing. not have opened the door. Well, uh, one. <laughs> I, mean, I feel the, bad for opens, the others. And you guys can only see one as he comes out. Um, there could be others behind him, but okay. at the instant the gate opens, you just see the one. All right, I All right. shoot as soon as it's open. Okay, go for it. Everyone, take your shots. I'm just like, no, well, please what stop. Is, what is my thesis roll? I'm right next roll? to him. I'm right You're next to him. You're at Six with your bow. For some reason, Whoa, I felt like it was like I'm right next to you. Oh, plus six with your first. Yeah. Go ahead. D twenty plus what is it now? Nine. As this and is I'm happening, plus, when... and I'm at plus six, right? Because I'm with my old bow now. Yeah, the archers are both at plus six. <clears throat> Sad pen. The D eight plus five then. Uh y no, it's a large creature. D twelve plus five. I got sixteen. No, what is it? It's me oh. first. Vincent's going Sorry. first. Sorry. It's fine. You guys can go at the same time if you want. He's got to miss real quick. All right. <laughs> no, I, I didn't miss. <gasps> so I'm saying in Ogre, it's just happening. Please stop. No, don't shoot my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you did eight damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, you stab him in the gut. Um, blood and some organs spill, but he doesn't fall down dead. Uh, Abigail, you shot and rolled a 16, which is yeah. a hit. Uh, D6 damage with your short bow. Five. Five. You shoot him in the same wound that Vincent made, and he stumbles to his knees and flops down on his face dead. Um, Last one to the kill count. So is that I a silent that. kill? Did, does anyone else... Like, he didn't scream prior to, right? I mean, he opens the door, Vincent stabs him, and then Abigail shoots him, and he kind of goes... Ugh! He doesn't die quietly. Okay, all right. He, he makes gurgling noises. And so this ogre it. goes down, and he's the only one we saw. Do we see anything behind him now that he falls? Yeah, there's two more ogres behind him walking out. Okay, I'm going to shoot at one of those. <laughs> this gif is amazing. Gif is amazing. Yeah, I'll show it later. It's good. Okay. Uh, did you 18 hit? Mm -hmm. D8 plus 2 damage. 3. That is not good. <laughs> not very high, no. Okay. You do three damage. And I guess you already spent your turn talking to them. Uh, is there anything you want to do? You can get a move, but not a full move and attack in. Me? Yeah, you. Uh, no, I'm just like, please, 
Evil traitors, <laughs> stop. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Okay. Uh, their turn. The next two ogres uh, stride out, giant clubs in hand, swinging them at Vincent. <laughs> um, one of them, you block his blow with your shield. You know, it's pretty jarring because it's a giant ogre and he's. You manage to hold it off. Um, the other one. The other one's right behind him and ends up like missing you over the top of the head so much that he comes and smacks his friend. Nice. With it. Be like, please stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> You're only hurting yourselves. <laughs> um. Okay, so the wounded one, uh, the, the new, the wounded one is the one that missed and hit his friend. So he's like, and cracks his friend full in the face with the club. Uh, yeah, our, so our turn. They do for their turn. Yeah, you guys go. All right, I'm gonna get my two attacks. D twenty plus nine. Yeah. Twenty two. Twenty two <laughs> is a hit. D twelve plus five. Sixteen. Nice. Both are hits. No, well, no, that, that was, was a that damage. Was damage. <laughs> oh, that's the damage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh, dead, right? No, he's not dead. Oh, wow. All right. Um, right. I'll attack the same one then. Okay. With the second attack. Ew, maybe not. No, that's a miss. Son of a bitch. Yeah. So your first right. sword gets him good. You get him like in the inner thigh and slash upward. Starts bleeding out of his leg. Um. Second stab goes for the same area, but he's moved out of the way then. Abigail? Uh, I'm gonna take a shot at the one that he just stabbed. Plus six. Oh, wow. Save this is death. Darn. <laughs> so roll d20. Yeah, you want 12 or higher. Oh, oh. my god! <laughs> he died. All right, before anything happens, I immediately cover my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um, you... Shoot Vincent in the back. Wow. Mm. I'm sorry, bro. Um, but due to his high armor class, it doesn't actually hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I rolled to hit, but sadly. So I walk up to him and recuperate my my uh, my arrow. <laughs> no, the arrow's like destroyed on his plate mail. Yeah, okay. but you totally hit like you hit him square in the back. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah. All right, Gregor. I shoot the uh, the wounded one. Okay. Shoot at the wounded one. I don't actually shoot him. I just shoot at him. Yeah. <laughs> you're laughing too hard at Abigail hitting Vincent, and so you're chuckling, and it kind of throws your bow off balance, and you, you miss. <laughs> and you shoot Vincent. Too. <laughs> um, I'm gonna spin this round and just try to understand like the layout of this camp and see what is what the layout of everything looks like in front of us and where try to see where they would be coming from yeah, if people are be coming. Like, Vincent is right here by the front door sure may, like, but we can't I can't look inside and see what's uh, coming archers are here hold on I'm getting there archers are standing a little bit behind him shooting at him you had walked up but we're like still back here so if you move around like if you kind of you're on the side of the entrance, so if you walk around in front of it, but behind Vincent, you could see past him and past the ogres into what's further inside. But you've already been in there once before. And as you remember, there's like this um, little stable where they had some pigs and some goats and some sheep and shit. And then other than that, it was just like a big open area with a little bit of a fire pit outside. Okay. That's fine with me. I'll stay where I'm at. I just wanted to know what was going on, where the layout was and everything like that. Okay. Um, Ogre's turn. The the one who did not hit his friend tries to crush Vincent with his big club. And he does not crush Vincent with his club. And the, the one who fumbled so badly last turn continues to fumble, swinging wildly at you, but not actually hitting you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Party turn. I'll swing at the wounded one. The one that you had already wounded? Yeah. They're both wounded at this point, yeah. Oh, the one that I, I'm guessing yeah. very closely nearly killed. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. You take a slice at him, but... 
At least it's not a Is one. there like an aura of evasion over this camp? Because, you know, the last time we yeah, were here... Yeah. I'm at plus nine, too. It's like... The last time we were here, it went exactly like this for about ten rounds, and I almost died. Yeah. Wasn't well, right. so it where there was, like, the female ogre that we left? Yeah, that was this area. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty funny. Uh, can I take a shot? Yeah. Ryan, you've gone back into, like, anonymous witness mode. There we go. What? Oh. Nothing. My screen was dark. Oh, okay. Kill right. him. Eleven, I miss his one. It sticks in his hide armor without causing any heart damage to him. It's got thick hides around him. Regor? I am attacking. Hit! Yes. Hit. Good job, Brogor. Brogor. D8 plus Brogor. two? D8 plus two. Brogor hits a nine. <laughs> You shoot him in the heart, and he topples to the side. The remaining ogre says, Timothy, no! An ogre. Tim, Tim the ogre. <laughs> yeah. Just like, uh, hey guys, uh, his name was Tim. Just Little FYI. Timmy. Brig uh, not Brigger, Tadagub. Uh, just the one guy left? Just the one guy left. How much of a, um, how far away? I'm, I'm pretty close to him, right? Oh yeah, you can totally walk up and bash him in the face. I'm going to do just that, but I'm going to bash him with my shield. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to run at him, shield drawn, and try to knock him over with my entire weight behind the push. Okay. Make a roll to hit. Just do 20. Three. <laughs> so you lower your head and, like, run for a shield bash at him, but your head's lowered behind the shield, and he sees it coming, like, steps to the side, <laughs> and you end up, like, running past him and inside into the... The walled off area. Aha! That's what exactly happened. What do I see inside? <laughs> uh, see some sheep and some goats, you know, being. There be sheep and them. goats in here. I was just protecting myself with this shield in case there were enemies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the ogre's turn. He takes a look about him, kind of quick glance around everything, realizes that this is probably not advantageous to him and starts backing up a little bit, you know, kind of backs away from Vincent and then turns and tries to run past uh, JP, run past uh, Tuttlegub. Do I get an attack as he runs past? <clears throat> sure. Can I try to trip him? Sure. Is that um, just a d20? Would you hit him with your, like, turn trip him with your maul? Or with your yeah, shield? so I'd, like, kind of swing down at his feet and hit him in the kneecap. Okay, um, d20 minus two. d20 minus two. Zero! Oh, my God. <laughs> you tricked yourself. Just swing wildly at his feet, but to no avail. Uh, Be like, yeah, the sheep and that. goats, they're powerful! <laughs> I'm going to chase after him then, obviously, right? Okay, yeah, so you guys start running after him. He runs inside the big cave. There's no doors or anything. He just... Runs right inside. Yeah, and he starts yelling, uh, as he runs. They're here! They're here, guys! They got Jake and they got Timmy! <laughs> Little Timmy! I turn to the party and say, Guys, we've got Jake and Timmy down. The rest of the band is inside. <laughs> the shaman from the town turned into an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> he was... <laughs> Jake is a very common name back in the day, okay? There's a lot of people named Jake. <laughs> Quick, Mar, come out and help. <laughs> okay, uh, can we take a shot at the guy running away? Totally. Okay, I, I want to shoot. Do it. You get a uh, plus two for back attack, so. Plus eight. 23. Hit. Nice. Uh, you actually clear by eight. That's that's a, a critical hit, so 2d8 plus two. Nine. Nine. Okay, you hit. You do nine damage. Uh, okay. Um, Abigail, do you want to get a shot? Sure. Okay. You hit him square in the back, and he kind of limps with pain. Ryan. Eight. Nothing happens. Can I throw one of my daggers? Sure. All right. He's still within range of that dagger throw, right? D20 uh -huh. plus... Dagger Throne is four for you. D20 plus four? Yeah. Oh. Nope. Your dagger four. Damn it. Short. Okay. Ilga runs inside, starts yelling, 
causing a kamukus. Um, As he's doing that, I'm retrieving my dagger. Okay. You guys run up. Uh, and what do you do? Well, I mean, Vincent goes and gets his dagger. Tuttlegub, what do you do? What's How big is the entrance into this area? Oh, it's huge. It's sized for like a hill giant. So it's maybe 13 feet high. But how uh, far wide? I'm sorry. It's not. It's like 20 feet tall. Uh, I would say eight feet wide. All right, then. I will start humming a spell. And you will see mist hopefully appear in front of you and soon. <laughs> As I cast the Wyvern Watch at the base of this entrance, or the entrance into this cave. You cast Wyvern Watch at the base of the cave? Or, yeah, at the entrance going, like, okay. facing inside. Okay. Uh, Bregor, what do you do while Tadagup is casting a spell? Wait, so he did that. Okay. So uh, can you I... can't actually retrieve your dagger because it's on the other side of the Wyvern Watch now unless you can walk through it. Can we still get shots off? Uh, it obscures your vision too much. You can't really see where he is in the cave now. I mean, you can shoot aimlessly, but you'll be at a penalty to hit. Yeah, I'll just take a wild shot through the wave and watch. Do it. Uh, D20 plus 2. 21. <laughs> you totally critical the ogre. <laughs> nice. You hit him in like the back of the head. 2D8 uh, plus 2? Yeah. 13. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, uh, you don't know it. Well, I guess you hear a thumping sound, and kind of a low groan that disappears. <laughs> You've moved up in the world, dude. <laughs> no longer dropping bows. Actually, getting hits. Yeah. That's good, go, man. Yeah. I like to. He did stick a sword better. in a wall earlier today. I did. He did. Well, I was trying sword. to be like you, and I just I failed miserably. Yeah. With that one. All right, I'm gonna start <laughs> looking for my spear then since there's now a mist in front of us. Yeah, uh, you find your spear pretty quickly. One sec. Okay. So, now what? <laughs> so I say, guys, take it easy. <laughs> and just kind of sit down and just kind of be like, let's wait and see what comes through this. Okay. So you guys are waiting. Uh, you can hear some echoes of voices from inside, but you can't really make out what they're saying. Uh, and how long do you guys wait? Well, I don't know. Forever. <laughs> why don't? Why aren't we just going in? Why did? So I, I kind of turn the part, and I'm like, look, if they run through there, we get free shots on these guys because they're not going to be able to move. Maybe maybe try to talk to them into coming into the fog. So I'll, okay, I'll be like you yes. know, I'll try it. I'll turn towards the entrance to the cave. Be like Jake, they got Jake, they got Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Get out here, guys! We need help. Wait, did you say you walk into the cave? <laughs> no, 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 I scream in like okay. towards the cave. <laughs> <laughs> They got Jake and Timmy. Jake and Timmy are down. Help me. <laughs> Come on. Um, okay. A few moments later, you hear uh, the barking. You hear barking of dogs. Lots of dogs. Um, and you hear some heavy footfalls coming towards you. It's hard to see through the mist, especially when it's dark on the inside and really bright on the outside. All right. Yeah. Um. But you hear these noises. Anything you want to do? Uh, I'll kind of turn to the party and be like, guys, they're coming quick. I would suggest the two archers get behind somewhere, post up, do whatever you need to get into position. Me and Vincent will stay here on the ground and deal with whatever comes out. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're already posted up, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are, are you within the compound or are you without the compound? Within. Me and Vincent are within. Right. But uh, the archers, are you still within? Are you on the wall? Are you outside? Or where are you? Um, where I can't really tell like what's going on with this drawing. Okay, so this this dark stuff is a hill. Okay. Um, this the green is grass. The white is also grass. My image just wasn't big enough to draw outside. And this little light uh, brown thing that kind of goes around the bigger brown thing is mm -hmm. a little uh, palisade wall that goes that covers and the. This is the door. Place. Yeah. Okay. The gray. We have been standing there. The hell? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll, I, we'll, I think we'll just be out like kind of by the wall or kind of far back. Yeah, I'll stay here. Within the wall. Okay. Okay. Um, so you hear some barking, and in a few moments, uh, you see... I guess you can't really see them. Um... <laughs> Hold on one sec. Do I get two attacks from a next attack, Neil? Is that how it works? Like each engagement? Um, it's, I would... it's on and off, isn't it? Like on, then yeah. off, on, then well, off. Well, my last attack was one, so that's what I'm asking. Is this uh, yeah, but you next... stopped for a while, so no, your next attack is going to be one. Um, okay, so you guys are hanging out, waiting, and you hear some barking followed by the uh, the trotting of what sounds like dog feet. And then from within the smoke bursts two hellhounds at you guys. Uh, roll for initiative again. Make them your pets, Gregor. As I see them, I say, I call their hides. <laughs> Stone roll I... for initiative. I roll. Oh, sorry. Roll. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. I was too excited. Uh, Eight. Uh, Eight. Ooh. Okay. Hellhounds go first. Oh, they bound, shit. two of them bound through the smoke and set on Vincent and Tudagub. On Vincent, um, you mean, right? As this happens, well, you I'm were like... both right next to the front, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they're all focused on Vincent. Is what I'm trying to say. No, one of them goes after each of you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what is? It? How much damage do they do with their fire breath again? Oh fuck! The hell. As we prepare for this, I asked Jeff if he knows where any water is so I can put out the oncoming no. flames. Okay, so uh, Vincent and Tuttlegub, you each need to make saving throws versus breath weapon, which for Jeff, for Vincent, is 13, and for JP is 15. So Just roll a d20. 20. Yeah, and that 17. number higher. You pass. 13. And I think that's a fail for you. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so Jeff, you take three damage from fire. And Tudagub, you take six damage from fire. Are we on fire? No, I mean, you. So, so these hellhounds. Hold on, let me just change this HP. Sure. Real quick, before I forget. So the hellhounds bound out through the smoke and like belch some gouts of flame at you. Jeff, you manage to like sidestep it and just like scorches your armor and like heats it up and starts burning your flesh a little bit, but it's not too bad. Tudagub, you take like a full front like breath weapon to oh, the chest. Like, Neil, Neil, just cut to the chase. Is my new hairdo gone? No, because you're really freaking tall. Okay, good. So <laughs> it, it's more like the belt of the chest. Perfect. You lost your chest hair. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> that's fine. I like to be smooth as a baby. <laughs> yeah, but you got clothes on, so you can quickly pat the clothes off, and you're okay. Perfect. It doesn't catch on fire. Um, <laughs> yeah, party's turn. Go. I, um, I'll take a swipe at the hellhound. Twenty-one. Don't you get two? Is a... No, I just won this time. Oh. Is a hit. 21's a hit. Is it D8 plus 5? Yeah, D8 plus 5. Ew, 7. That's like more damage I'll, than I'll ever do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did 7, which is that. Cool. Okay. Uh, Tadaka, uh -huh. I'll just uh, roll for a hit since I'm next to that one. Hit the same one that Jeff was just attacking. Okay. For 11, so I guess I miss. Miss. No. Hellhound's too small for you to hit. Okay. Fregor? I attacked the uh, one that Vincent hit. Okay. Um, you know? So you, Vincent and. No, I, yeah. The, so the dog bounds out and kind of like moves to the side. I guess you can still get a shot on him. It's a little bit tight, though, those guys standing there. 23. Oh, it's a hit. Yeah, it's definitely a hit. <laughs> um, AC 16. You do not clear by 8. Just barely miss. So just a, uh, a hit. Okay. 
D6, D8 plus two. Nine. Nice. Nice. You shoot the hellhound in the flank, and he yelps in pain. Jen? <clears throat> Abigail? All right, I'm going to shoot 15. 15 is a hit. No, no, I take it back. It, no, it's a flank attack. It's a hit. It's a flank attack. It's a right. No, it's a miss. It's a miss. I didn't take it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, listen, Abigail, he's the boss. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's not quite a flank attack. It's still mostly a frontal. You just barely miss him. Like, it grazes his fur, but doesn't, but doesn't hit. But he understands what's up. Okay. Yeah, he, he's been warned. All right. Um, hellhounds continue their assaults. One of them bites viciously at Jeff, and he gets his like, teeth around your armor. And, ah, 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 yeah, of course he does, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Unhound me, hellhound of hell. Yeah. And the other one takes a bite at... I say the same words. Does it help? 